for Wales. It's the most changes we've seen in a Wales side this tournament. Beginning in the front row, Evan Wood gets his first start. Johnny Green has recovered from a shoulder knock to retake his place in the engine room. And Harry Bedell captains the team for the first time in the absence of Harry Ackerman. There are first starts too for Rodri Lewis and Aidan Boshov and debuts handed to Cardiff Rugby's Matty Young and Elijah Evans, one of four Cardiff Met students included in the Wales side tonight. As for Italy, they rested players against Scotland, so it's the same 15 that took the field for that famous win over France in round three, built on the scrummaging pillars of Federico Pisani and Marcos Gallerini, who wins his 15th under-20s cap. Pucciarello, Bozzo, Belloni and Scalabrin have started every game of the tournament, the latter with four tries in his last three matches. And Nicola Bozzo hasn't missed an under-20s game since winning his first cap in round one of last season's Six Nations. They've won the last two, and if successful tonight, it's the first time they have beaten Wales three times in a row in the under-20 Six Nations era. No more so than here a week ago against a bulldozing and block-busting French outfit. But tonight is a new night. There are new faces, there are new opportunities. Wales versus Italy, round five, the final round of the under-26 nations from the Arms Park. Wales looking for their second victory of the competition. And Italy's big men can start to go to work. That's Mirenzi. He's upright. Morse has stopped him for now. Drop your height, one Wales. one more phase. Gallerini. Yeah, the referee's going to have a look, but Gallerini... Looks to have scored his first try of the Six Nations this season. But just too high, you need your hands on the floor, back, and try and get under him. And if anything, it tries to take higher. Is it Max Page also there trying to get under him? But you just need to drop your height, and it's all a combination of your discipline. You've worked yourself down the field, and Italy in the opening 60 minutes. Stay now. Slow ball. There is Bozzo, Bozzo low, Delarua tackles and tackles okay, well. Ten red offside. But another penalty coming for Italy. It's either going to be a try or a yellow card. Over the top goes Piero Gritti. Men, it's coming to you, Timo. I've got an on-field try. I just want to confirm that the player hasn't jumped over the breakdown to score. OK, at the moment there's clearly a ruck for me. Can't, the player then can't propel himself over the over that ruck to score. Are you seeing the same thing? Yes, I am. He clearly yeah. jumps over the ruck to okay. score. OK, OK. So it will be no try because the player has jumped over the ruck, OK? So we'll go back for the penalty against 10 red. Score no remains. Try. Italy 8, Wales 0. That one's chalked off. It's going to be a penalty against 10 red. Set! Four minutes till half-time, Italy moving forward, Bozzuri controlling it with the left boot, there's the advantage, and the referee has no option other than to go under the sticks, it's a penalty try, and that is a reward for numbers one to eight, and it goes from bad to worse, because Josh Morsh is sent to the bin. He's a good player, but at the minute, Wales, particularly that tight five, they just cannot handle the brute size of power. Please. It's the second time in two seasons. They need to tap and kick. And in fact, they decided that they're happy enough with that first half. Well, a limping Marcus Gallerini is going to take a well earned breather. He scrummaged beautifully and he's got his first try of this year's Six Nations competition. Italy have been dominant. A good few thousand euros worth of taping have been put on that left leg. And Pucciarello sends it to the Cardiff Sky for the final half. Yeah. Finds Nick Thomas. New advantage. Oh, another advantage. Feels like Wales need to get something here. Get something on the board. Get themselves back into the game. Lewis, big pass. Finds Harry Ford. Ball over the top. Intercepted. It wasn't on. But the penalty was to come. Yeah, Morenzi might be going to the sim bin, yeah. Number four. OK. Number four. And captain. Captain, number four. Spoke at the end of the first half, but the next ball infringement will go. Okay, he's number four was the last one. 
collapse. Well, Josh Morse can high-five Samuele Morense on the way off. Okay. He makes his way to the naughty step for 10 minutes, just as Josh Morse comes back okay. on the pitch. 46 minutes gone, the yellow card awarded. Wales nil, Italy 15. And a debut for Cardiff's youngster, Cody Stone. Back to that later, because now the opportunity for Wales, they go for the mall again. Harry Thomas there at the back, making his way towards the line, slowly, steadily, surely. Referee has a look, referee awards the try. Harry Thomas. Success there, but Harry Thomas gets on the ball. He's supported by Lucas De La Rua, Max Page. The timing is in, and perfect, just seven minutes into the second half. Italy down to 14 men, Wales over the try line. So they're coming towards the end of the game over in Ireland. We'll take another look at that ball grounded. Good line-out ball to Della Rua. We're backwards. Italy defend the first phase, but here come Wales again. Max Page adds his weight. All the backs are in. Harry Thomas is there. He's still on it. He's still on it. He's over. Is it grounded? Yes, it is. All the hard. There you see, ball tucked in his right arm. He has got Nick Thomas on his left hip. And he's just sitting there. He's waiting for the boys in front of him to do all the hard work. And they get it gets a little bit splintered. He's waiting there. He's waiting his battle. And he gets over for their second try of their second half, Wales. Absolutely game on. Patience, control, Wales. You don't need to rush this. Nothing needs to be individual. So Bedell's there. At the short side, oh. he goes. A lot of work to do for him. Advantage, penalty. And a penalty advantage. Oh, Tory offside. Yayan Davis. Yeah. Lovely ball to Cody Stone. A try on debut to give the lead to Wales. Davis is eyeballed and watches come back and shot out the back, out the back door that goes from Jordan Morris. It gets a little bit scrappy. Page gets back to his feet, does a release the ball, he's back to his feet, though they get stopped. Force in the pack, there's the eyeball between nine and winger. Though he knows that money ball's coming. Casino, the nine for Italy, is looking at the defender, the attackers in front of him, of Wales. The post protector saving Italy. Bedel, Davis. Beautiful ball, Matty Young can walk it in. It's another debut try. It's a bonus point for Wales, and it's a two-score game here in the Arms Park. Look, he's not even in shot, he's already come around the corner, but he's created the extra man just before that. And it allows Wales to create the numbers on this right-hand side. This excellent perception from Young, this great vision by the half-backs by Lewis and Ford, but all the hard work has been done off the ball, Matty Young. His perception, he's worked two phases earlier to get where he is. Yes, it is. And the clock has gone red. Ian Davis draws the curtain down on this Six Nations for Wales, draws the curtain down on the best 40 minutes of rugby this young group have produced.